Hey, kindergarten. So this week in reading, we are going to talk about something called text features. So these are some things that we find in nonfiction books when we're reading. So these are things that we're going to find that help us to learn more about the topic we are reading about and help us to like organize that topic as well where we could find specific things inside of a book. So coming up, we're going to start reading and writing about our habitats that we chose for our classrooms. And these text features can help us to figure out, to learn more about the habitats that we're reading about. So let's take a look. They give us important information in our text features um, where we can find what we're looking for in the book. Sometimes you might be looking for something specific about an animal, maybe something they eat or some place that they live. So sometimes you want to find important information but not read the whole entire book. You're looking for something specific. So text features can help you with that. Um, they help us to understand the text a little bit more and they also can make it a lot more fun to read. So let's jump on in and take a look at some what if some of those text features are. So types of text features. So the table of contents is something that we can find in some of our nonfiction books. So this is usually in the front of our books and it usually has different topics that you're gonna find inside of your book. So these have, like this book was, this table of contents is from a book about ants. So if I wanted to just find out what ants eat, I can look at these different topics and I can scroll down and I see towards the bottom there, it says what's for dinner. So that's probably about what ants eat. So I can go over here that has a bunch of numbers. These numbers are the page that I can find it on. So I would just flip forward to my book to page 24 to find out what ants eat for dinner. So the table of contents helps you to find something specific you're looking for in a book. So you don't have to read the entire book. You can just look for certain things by looking at the table of contents and looking to see what page it's on. So that would help you to narrow down without having to read a whole book. Sometimes the books are really, really long and you don't want to read the entire book and you're only looking for information on what the ants eat. So you would just find that page and go to that page. So the table of contents is really helpful when you're looking for something very specific about what you're reading about. Then there's chapter headings. That's another text feature. So those, if I'm not looking at the table of contents, I can flip through the book and look at these big, bold headings on the top. Up here it says the word earth. So that chapter started with the talking about the Earth. So this was in a book of planets, and it was talking about the planet Earth. So you could sometimes just flip through the pages and look at these big, bold headings at the top of the chapter to know what that part of the book is going to be about. So chapter headings are really helpful when you're just skimming through a book and wanting to find something specific to learn about. Then we have an index. An index is another part, usually in the back of the book, that if we're looking for something specific, will tell us what page it's on. So this was about the earth, and about gas, and light and heat, and space. So this was a book about space, and all different things I can learn about space. So if I wanted to learn about the sun, I can see here on the index that I would have to go to page 10 or 11 to learn things about the sun. So the index also helps you to find very specific things that you want to find inside of your book. The glossary is also usually in the back of the book. And that can help you to learn about what some of the words that you didn't know mean. So this was the glossary in the book about planets and the solar system. 
And you could see that the first word here, this says explodes. So some of us might not know what explodes means. So when I'm reading my book, if I don't know what the word explodes means, how am I gonna know what I'm reading? So I could go to the back of the book and find this part that's called the glossary. And I can look up this word explodes and it says blows up with a loud noise. So now I know that explodes means that something blows up with a loud noise. So now I know what that word means. So I could go back to the page I was reading and continue to read the rest of that page. So the glossary is really helpful when it's in the, it's in the back of the book usually and it really helps you to understand some of the words that you might not know what they mean. Then there are maps in a book sometimes. So when looking at books about maybe the desert or the ocean, it might point out where in the world you can find deserts or oceans. In this book that I have here on the screen, this book was about lions. So this book has a map showing where lions live. So the words on this book said most lions live on the savanna in Africa, and it is very hot and dry there. And then it points to this map down here and points to Africa. So you know that there's a map showing Africa to go along with the words talking about where lions live. So maps can be really helpful in books to get some information as well because you can tell by looking at this book that lions come mainly live in Africa. Another text feature that you can find in our books that's really helpful is diagrams. Diagrams really help us to learn details about different things we're reading about. So this book that I have this diagram from was about ladybugs. So this showed me all the different parts of a ladybug. It's a diagram of the parts of a ladybug. Usually it's blown up real big, so this ladybug looks real big. And then it points to each part of the ladybug with labels. It labels each and every part. So it's a diagram that has labels of each part of the ladybug. So these are just a few text features that we are going to be looking at as we move forward with our reading and writing of our habitat. And look for each day us going a little deeper into each of these text features. So check out reading again tomorrow to look a little deeper into the table of contents. Bye everybody.